Hello, I am Luis Sain. In this fourth video, I am going to explain how is the harmonic distortion calculated. In the first video, I introduced power quality, the concept of harmonics, and the origin of harmonics. We studied that this origin comes from nonlinear loads that inject harmonic currents in networks. And when this harmonic current goes through the network impedance, comes the harmonic voltages. In this situation, I ask how to determine if the currents and voltages are high or low distorted, and which is the level of this distortion. For this, we have two radios the individual harmonic distortion and the total harmonic distortion. Imagine that we have a current and a voltage distorted with the fundamental waveform and the harmonics. The individual harmonic distortion is determined for each harmonic and it is the ratio between the corresponding rod mean square value of the harmonic and the rod mean square value of the fundamental waveform. This radio provides an insight about the weight of harmonics on the waveform distortion. The total harmonic distortion is a global ratio about the waveform pollution. And it is determined as the ratio between the square root of the sum of the squares of all the harmonics and the rod mean square value of the fundamental waveform. These two radios can be applied to characterize the distortion as the current as the voltages. Determine the distortion of the currents is useful to know the quality of a nonlinear device. That is, if the distortions are greater than 10%, that means that the device is a very pollutant load. Determine the distortion of the voltages is useful to know the quality of the voltage in the point of common coupling or in the plugs. That is, if the distortions of the voltage are greater than 5%, the voltage waveform that we receive is very polluted. To illustrate this, I will analyze the following example. We have this distorted voltage with the rod mean square values of the fundamental and the harmonics in the table, and I would like to determine the degree of distortion of the voltage. First, I will calculate the individual harmonic distortion for each harmonic. So I divide the rod mean square value of the harmonics between the rod mean square value of the fundamental waveform. These results can be shown in a table or in a bar plot, and they could be compared with the limits of the standards and verify the level of distortion of the voltage waveform. After that, I will determine the total harmonic distortion. For this, I calculate the rod mean square value of the harmonics and I divide this result by the rod mean square value of the fundamental waveform. I will show these results together with the table of individual harmonic distortions and with the bar plot. And I could compare these results with the limits of the standards and verify the level of the global distortion. In the next screen, I will justify the necessity of both indexes. Imagine that we have a voltage waveform with this data. 
and we determine the distortions of the waveform. The total harmonic distortion shows that the waveform is highly distorted and the individual harmonic distortions indicates where is the origin of this distortion. So, this voltage is a globally distorted waveform due to the third harmonic distortion. Imagine now the following harmonic spectrum. The individual harmonic distortions are below 5%, so they show that the harmonics, the level of harmonics, is correct. But the total harmonic distortion indicates that we have a globally distorted waveform. This is due to the contribution of each harmonic. As conclusion, we can have a distorted waveform due to a specific harmonic or due to the contribution of all harmonics. To complete the video about the calculation of the harmonic distortions, I'm going to provide you a script in MATLAB code to determine the individual and the total harmonic distortions. Remember the definition of this ratio and we can see in the script the following. First, I read the data of the waveform and accommodate this data in two arrays. One is the time and one is the uh, voltage. After that, I obtain the Fourier transform of the waveform in the same way as in the third video. I determine the rod mean square value of the waveform, in this case, uh, voltage. And when I have the rod mean square value of the fundamental and the harmonics, I apply the expressions to determine the individual and the total harmonic distortions. These expressions come from the radius in the screen. And at last, I plot in a bar figure the individual harmonic distortions.